Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a Hankster certified unit, an outstanding piece of inventory. It is a 1978 Chevrolet Corvette pace car and it's 3,000, just over 3,000 original miles. So let's check it out. Of course, the original 350 motor. <clears throat> power brake booster here tells you that the car is equipped with power brakes. You can't see it. There's a power steering reservoir buried way down there beneath the alternator. And on the passenger side front there, that is your AC compressor. This is a factory AC car and AC does work. And so do the headlight doors. <clears throat> of course, it is your uh, black and silver combination that was the only uh, color combination offered for this particular car. Uh, the uh, lettering graphics, uh, are not on it. They are in the back of the car. I'm sure they're no good. They're from 1978. Um, but we ran a couple of these cars through our showroom and I don't know if one of them actually had the pace car graphics on it. Uh, the paint of the car has been, if not completely um, repainted, definitely portions of it have been repainted. Um, it's not the original paint, um, but the paint on the car is outstanding. Top of the fenders, hood, headlights, nose, a uh, really nice paint throughout the entire top portion of this vehicle. You have your uh, Corvette crest there. We'll have a still photo of that on our website. I made the statement earlier, the headlight doors do work on the car. Uh, we do have still photos of those both up and down. <clears throat> Stepping around to the uh, driver's side of the car, we'll start out with the front fender. Um, paint on the front fender, uh, top, uh, real nice, pinstripings in real nice shape, uh, silver portion of the uh, car is in real nice shape, uh, the ground effects, uh, lower portion. Let's take a look at our uh, front glass, uh, the uh, glass up front here, real nice shape, uh, no cracks, uh, no chips, T-tops are in nice shape, both driver and passenger side. <clears throat> Dual mirrors on the car, uh, black. Uh, body lines, fit and finish on this car, outstanding. The, um, you know, you, you can't really describe a car as a survivor car unless it's all, all original. And um, like I said, this car has had a repaint, so, but it is mostly a survivor. You know, original interior, original carpet, uh, all original body panels, uh, you know, never wrecked, 3,000 miles. Um, so real nice uh, piece of uh, inventory and piece of history. Um, the, uh, again, the fit. Uh, factory, uh, the paint on the driver door, there's no issues whatsoever in terms of any kind of cracking or, uh, you know, pinstripe peel, uh, anything like that. Nothing at the bottom in the silver portion, everything's real nice. Also, the window glass here on the driver's side window, that looks to be in nice shape. Let's pop the door and take a look at the interior. Uh, door panel on the driver's side, real nice condition. Like I said, all the interior is original. Uh, so all your leather uh, in nice shape. Um, power door locks, we will figure out those work on a test drive. Power windows, we'll figure out those work. I believe everything in this car works. The uh, seats, the carpeting, center console, steering wheel, everything in the car is original to the car. automatic car. So we'll uh, show you closer uh, the interior of the vehicle when we're actually on a test drive. As far as the rear uh, quarter portion goes of the car, once again, there's no paint issues either in the black or in the silver. <clears throat> Glass clarity out of the rear window in real nice shape. Looking through, uh, there's a little, we did buy this vehicle from a local collector that we've known for years. Um, so I'm very familiar with the car. Uh, there is a picture of the car um, at the uh, promotion for the Turkey Rod Run event here in Daytona Beach a few years back. Uh, the graphics there, that you, the pace car graphics, like I said, they're probably not stickable anymore, but there is a little black book there. 
Uh, it does have a little history of the car inside, a little story as told by one of the previous owners. The uh, car was originally purchased in Texas, yada, yada, yada. Um, but a uh, little kind of story. Uh, the rest is just there's an owner's manual in there. Um, there's uh, a GM warranty guide, um, just some, some of that type of stuff. N nothing really. Uh, there is an original window sticker in there. A dealer copy, which we have a photo of on our website. You will get everything you see in the back of that car right there. You will get when the car arrives. As far as the rear of the car, um, you know, again, black, silver, pinstriping, all of it is in real nice shape. There's no issues to really point out or show you. There's no spider webs in the paint. There's no debris in the paint. Um, there's no, uh, you know, paint peel, uh, pinstripe peel, anything like that. Let's look now at the passenger side rear quarter of the car. No paint issues up high or down low. All the wheels are in nice shape too. There's no, um, you know, uh, rust or any kind of um, patina on the wheels, any kind of uh, corrosion. They're all in real nice shape. Brand new raised white letter BFGs on the car. Again, door fitment to the rear quarters, fantastic. Check out your passenger side T-top. That's like a mirror, you know, real nice finish. No uh, heavy scratching or anything like that. Same thing with the uh, door glass here on the passenger side. Glass is in real nice shape. Check out the uh, passenger side portion of the interior, starting with the door panel. Um, again, everything's original. Nothing's torn, ripped, armrest isn't falling off. Passenger side seat, nothing's ripped or torn. Everything's in real nice shape. You know, carpeting does show a little age. You know why? Because it's 45 years old. But uh, real, real nice interior in the car. Very well preserved and cared for. Um, passenger side door. No issues to speak of, um, no paint blistering, bubbling, cracking, heavy chips, scratches, anything like that. Real nice paint uh, throughout the entire car. I don't know when it was repainted. Um, I believe it was prior to the um, gentleman that we bought it from. So the paint's older, but real nice shape. All of your uh, decals. Uh, crests, emblems, flags, everything uh, real nice condition. We do take still photos of all those on our website. Your L82s up here in the uh, hood scoop, those look good. There's no paint issues on this car to show at all. I mean, it's real nice uh, uniform color and clear. There's no um, paint blisters whatsoever. Uh, cracking in the nose, cracking in the rear end, cracking up in the hood. Uh, no, zero debris in the paint. Just a sharp looking car. This one will sell quickly. I'm uh, sure of it. I encourage you guys to come in person and check out this 1978 Chevrolet Corvette for yourself. I think it's a fantastic car. You may or may not agree with me. And that's why I encourage you to uh, visit our showroom in person, whether it's this uh, 78 Corvette or any other piece of inventory we have here in Daytona, you can do exactly what we are doing in this video presentation when you visit our showroom. You can walk around the car, check out the paint and the interior real well. Uh, we'll uh, put it up in the air for you if you'd like us to. We're going to do that here momentarily with our Corvette. Check out the undercarriage, tire condition, suspension components, floor pans, the bottom of the motor, the transmission. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car uh, accelerates, stops, steers, starts, handles, rides. This way when a vehicle shows up to you wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over to car for yourself. At the end of the day, we are an internet-based business. We conduct, believe it or not, 90% of our transactions sight unseen. Um, people wire us money, people finance these cars, and the majority of our buyers, we never meet face to face. So, and we've been doing this a long time and we move a lot of units between our two showrooms. So hopefully our longevity in this business tells you something about the quality and quantity of vehicle we put through our showroom month after month and year after year. 
But nobody's a better judge of how to spend your hard-earned money than you are, and this is why I encourage you to check the car out for yourself prior to pulling the trigger. Let's put our 78 Corvette up in the air, we'll check out the undercarriage, and then after that, we'll do a short little test drive for you. Underneath our 1978 Corvette pace car, uh, disc brakes up front, is the original uh, engine cradle cross member there. Is the original motor. Can't see really anything as far as the passenger side is concerned. You can see that the front seal's nice and dry, and you can also see the uh, driver's side of the oil pan. Um, that looks to be uh, dry at this time as well. Uh, the exhaust looks good. You have dual exhaust manifolds coming into like a Y pipe and a single pipe going back. Uh, and we'll show you the mufflers. It's uh, General Motors mufflers on the car. The uh, transmission pan, that's all nice and dry. Uh, the frame rails and the floor pans look fantastic, all factory. <clears throat> Nothing's been replaced. Nothing's been altered. Um, tail shaft seal, I'm not sure if you guys can see up there, it might be kind of dark, but uh, nice and dry at this time. Once again, the uh, entire undercarriage of the car is all original, so you have all original pans on the vehicle, no issues there whatsoever. Moving to the back of the car, um, you are going to have... Uh, Disc brakes, four-wheel disc, and there's the uh, little GM logo on the muffler. So you have dual mufflers, um, yep, and both sides have the GM logo. <clears throat> you do have a spare up here. Um, my guess would be is it's probably from 1978, so if you plan on using it, you might want to replace it. Now, we did replace the tires. Um, on the car due to the fact that uh, they were aged. However, uh, we do have the tires um, for the car. I don't know if they're the original tires, but they are definitely the original tires that would have come on the car. We did save them in case somebody wants to put this car into like a museum or something. Uh, we do have those to put back on. But if you're using it to actually drive or enjoy, uh, it has brand new uh, raised white letter BFG tires on the car for you. Let's discuss how to pay for this car. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you're financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down of the purchase price. So if you're talking about a car that's 50 grand, you're talking about 5 grand out of pocket. You can do more if you would like to, however, they are going to require a minimum of 10% no matter how good your credit score is. If your credit score is a little lower or your debt to income is a little higher, they might even require 15 to 20% down of the purchase price. However, that we have no control over. Uh, that's between you and the lender. So um, you click the finance tab on our website, fill out the application, the lending institution will contact you directly to discuss your approval with you if you like what you hear. You can give us a call back, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'll get the whole whole sales process started for you. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection. This process includes things like checking lug nut torque, uh, make sure the horn works, wipers work, check the brake lights, reverse lights, you know, things like that. They're old cars. Anything can start leaking, anything can stop working at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's green lighted through our service department, the vehicle goes through detail and then the carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a driver here within a 48 hour window. However, if you are in a more difficult destination or you're on the West Coast, allow us four, five, six business days to get a carrier here. But I promise you, we move quick, quickly once we're funded. Uh, the process is uh, payment, uh, inspection, detailed, dispatched, and then gone. If you're handling your own shipping logistics, coming to get it yourself, or sending your own driver, we will let you know when it's ready and you can come pick the car up or send for it. Let's set our 78 Corvette down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and see how the vehicle runs out. Set our 78 Corvette, you have tilt wheel.
Driver side turn. Passenger side turn. Odometer is about to turn 3122. That is the actual miles on the car. It does not read actual miles on the title. Um, some states, no matter what, they exempt the mileage. So it is what it is. I can't prove it's the actual miles, but it is. Um, tack. Temp gauge works, fuel gauge works, clock does not work, oil, battery, both work. Radio works. It's not the original factory radio. So my home is also my office, and before I can focus. Now, the, I don't know if you guys can hear that, power antenna works. Um, the AC, it does work. We had to order a new controller. The controller went bad, okay? So today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. The new controller will be delivered tomorrow. We'll pop it in and you'll have AC. Has been retrofitted to 134. Locks. Door locks work. Power windows, driver. Leave that cracked a little bit. We got a uh, 66 Mustang being picked up going to California. Uh, passenger side. That works. All right, wipers. That works. Um, I guess that's it. Little tiny sun visors there. Got a cool uh, look out our T-tops. A little bit of overcast here in Florida. All right, I think it's time to drive. What do you think? Let's see how she runs. She runs good. Nice smooth ride on those brand new tires. Of course the steering's nice and tight. It's a Corvette. Uh, speedo's working. You can see the odometer moving. Okay. Um, temp, we're about 195. Nice smooth ride. We'll uh, take it up here, make the right hand turn, run it through all the gears. I'll show you the brakes. This is a nice car. You know, this is a cool looking sports car with all your bells and whistles. You got power windows, power door locks, AC, a working radio, and it's. Uh, a very inexpensive car to own. Brakes. Got this, whatever this roller skate is in front of me doing about 15 miles an hour. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, get this baby going. A nice smooth idle. We're not stalling out. No, that ain't gonna work. Okay, she's turning. Let's do it. Transmission shifts fantastic. 55, 60. Uh oh. I just passed a sheriff, but he ain't turning around. 55 miles an hour. I shut it down because I just passed it. Law enforcement, but real nice smooth ride. Uh, tracks real nice at 50 miles an hour. Um, no front end shake. Just a nice car. Nice paint, nice interior. Uh, you got a little tiny bit of history on the car. Actual miles look 3123, so you know the odometer's working. Uh, about to turn 3124. So put a couple miles on the car. I like it. This one will sell quick. Um, 
we've already had a ton of inquiries. We tried to get a video in yesterday and we couldn't because it was, we have a tropical system moving through Florida here. So we got heavy rain on and off and I couldn't get in a test drive yesterday because it was a monsoon. So we have people literally waiting on the video um, to probably pull the trigger on the car. So without further ado, 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this vehicle along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 78 Corvette includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. If the transpan gasket starts leaking, that's not covered. If the alternator starts char stops charging, that's not covered. If the AC stops blowing cold, that's not covered. But what is covered is your major mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly it is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Our full retail price program is turnkey. You get the security of the warranty and you get the luxury of us handling all your shipping logistics. Those logistics include arranging the pickup of the car at our facility, arranging the delivery of the car to you, paying the driver when they pick the car up, tracking the progress of the shipment, vesting the driver to make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured to carry your car. At a negotiated price point, you will do that legwork on your own. If you have your own method of transportation, be it a carrier you've used in the past you had a good experience with, or your own truck and trailer, you are more than welcome to trailer this Corvette home. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you take the T-tops out, run the AC, you have tunes, um, so you can drive this car home, no, no issue there. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, what is normally sunny Daytona Beach. And again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.